put some feed out this morning. See if we can see them. Don't see out there. That's the mama and the twins. Been coming up here all year. Had a buck with them earlier, earlier in the year. But, uh, well, they're not eating the feed, they're eating grass. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Now, it is perfectly legal for me to take that dough if I wanted to, but, uh, Thirty eight years living here. The last two years is the first two we ever had deer come up here on the property. And I just like to look at them. Very cool. And them twins have grown. First time I saw them, they were little bitty. Still had spots on them. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to try to take one of them. I'm just going to let them go. I put some feed out, like I said, and uh, I'll get a uh, bag of corn here next week or two and put out there for them. Awesome. <laughs> the more they clear around here, the biggest clearing going on now is for stupid solar farms. I mean, thousands of acres. And the rest they're clearing for houses. All the animals are getting pushed and pushed and pushed down this way. We're seeing deer. Not foxes, bobcats that we've never seen before. Even birds. The big woodpeckers and stuff like that that we've never seen before. They're all... They don't have anywhere to go. They're less than a mile to myself. The way the camera's pointing. It's uh, the management area on the other side of the river is Bigland Air Force Base, so they can't build much further down there. So uh, the animals are moving to where the only place they got to go. Bears, too. We got a lot of bears around. So uh, I'm just going to enjoy watching them. All right, just about dark. Never been this close to the shop. There they go. I scared them off. <laughs> that was so cool to see them up here like this. That's the closest they've been to the shop that I know of. There they go. <laughs> Back over in Ricky's yard now. <laughs> Boy, that's cool. Well, good Saturday morning, everybody. A little update on what's going on around here. I have a lot of people asking me about it and uh, about the health uh, condition for my son-in-law and the Chunky Monkey. Now, first thing, Chunky Monkey is fine. He had a rough couple of days after his little surgery but um he's doing just fine now he has to go back in march or april for another ultrasound to see if everything is in order and if it is he'll be all finished up now my son-in-law they had the big snafu with the surgery appointments and all that uh they got that all resolved and 
he came down with a little cold. The knot head would not stay home from work. Uh, he is the one that is the mailman. So he's in and out of the weather all day long. And we've not had very good weather around here. Cold, wet, damp, wind, and all that kind of stuff. They sent him home yesterday because he was sick. And he didn't go to work today, which he shouldn't. But he's got to get over this flu bug or whatever it is. His whole crew, all the other grandbabies, my daughter, everybody over there is sick. Mama's in the bed sick. Uh, with the, just the crud. I didn't feel well yesterday at all. I had a low-grade fever. But um, some better today. Not, better, not well enough to get out and do anything, but just came out to the shop for a few minutes I've been trying to since my little downtime here take one bench at a time and get everything cleaned off so I can start the year start the year off with a clean shop that's always a thing for me but anyway son-in-law the surgery is scheduled for the 3rd of January he has to be there on the 1st on New Year's Day to get checked in and all that and he'll start his prep for surgery which is basically the same prep they do for a colonoscopy he's got to go through all that and then he'll have a surgery on the third and we'll know more after that now my colonoscopy was supposed to be on the second but i rescheduled still going to have it done but i rescheduled it out a couple of months because we'll have the grandkids uh, while they're over there, they'll be over there about a week. So, um, I don't want to have, be having to deal with that. And if I'm dealing with that, I won't be able to take care of the kids like I want to. But, uh, well, me and mama. Because we got to get them back and forth to school when they go back to school after Christmas. and Which is all fine. That's all just absolutely fine. That's what grandparents do. So that is, uh, that is the update on the family around here. Everybody else seems to be okay. Now I got a box. Who did that? I think I know who did that. I'm going to call him here in a little bit. Let's open it up and take a look. I got another box yesterday that I don't have out here with me from my uh, little brother Pat up in Nebraska. He sends me one every year. Mule deer jerky that he makes. And this year he sent me some smoked uh, goose, breast off a of goose. And it looks absolutely awesome. And, uh, well, we done dug into the jerky. But, uh, <laughs> How cool is that? I love this kind of stuff. I could eat this for supper. And I might just do that. But, uh... Because Mama's sick, she ain't gonna be able to cook. And I am spoiled. I'm telling y'all, I'm spoiled. And I know it. But, uh... <laughs> anyway, I, I'm gonna share this with Mama. She won't eat the hotter couple of them is hot she won't eat that thank you thank you thank you thank you and that's good stuff right there now thank you everybody for the birthday wishes a couple days back over on the facebook i think i think i thanked everybody i think i did if i didn't i'm sorry but I tried to get everybody. Thank y'all anyway. Uh, the Facebook knife page. If anybody's ever looked at that or if you look at it recently, it is. Nothing's on there new. It's all old stuff. Because I really just, I don't, I just want to have a presence there in case somebody wants to send a message. But uh, even the, reg the regular Facebook, I just, I don't do a whole lot of it. I look at it every now and then. Our local news is on there a lot, and we don't get local channels on our uh, TV package. So it's the same thing as watching 
local news looking on there to see the just the um the headlines i guess you would say and usually it's see how many people's got shot run over killed over in the neighboring county that's the only thing that they really talk about and it happens every day over there it's getting worse and worse but um the first clips you'll see uh when you see this video my deer are back i thought somebody had got them but the mama and the twins are back and uh all kinds of animals are showing up around here that we've never seen before uh, we've seen bears for several years uh, foxes raccoons we haven't seen many raccoons around until the last few years now possums we've always seen possums they've always been here and if you live around here and you got chickens you know that because they will take care of chickens and uh, a heartbeat if you don't have a very very tight cage to keep them in but uh, all kinds of birds and all the reason for this is they are clearing thousands of acres of land in this county either for subdivisions or solar farms uh, me and Stump went a couple weeks back <coughs> excuse me and looked at one of the latest ones they're building up closer to his place up there and they've already got some already supposedly finished but this thing is massive you talk about a massive track of woods it was natural woods we used to hunt there now uh, those creeks back in there you go if you was adventurous enough to wade back in there you know and go fishing and that kind of thing all that's gone they are destroying this county and all the animals are getting pushed down to the south down this way <coughs> and uh less than a half a mile from me starts the uh wildlife management area so they can't at least they can't build down there and another half a mile from there is the uh eglin air force base reservation land and they can't get down there uh, so all the animals are just crowded crowded and crowded what they don't kill while they're doing all this cars don't run over because animals have been there for years and years and they don't that is their territory they don't know what to do they just start roaming but a lot of people are telling me to shoot the deer and eat the deer and yes i love deer meat i like to deer hunt i hadn't done it in a several years but i'm not going to mess with these i'm just going to let them they live right back in my patch of woods here i'm just going to let them live there <coughs> now grandkids they like looking at them and watching them and we put feed out for them every now and then so that's what we're going to keep doing so um there we go i'll stop rambling for now i'm starting to to cough a little bit so I better we get back in and it's time for another dose of medicine. And I've got it up to almost 80 degrees in the shop in just a couple of, well, about an hour. It's cold outside still. It's in the 50s. It was 60 this morning. Now it's dropped into the 50s. And we have rain coming. On the east coast of Florida, they've got a almost tropical storm going to come through there in the next day or two. So everybody batting down the hatches. And until this weather straightens out just a little bit, I will be inside. So thank y'all for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the box. Little brother Pat, thank you very much for that jerky. I'm going to hide me a bag right quick before the kids get a hold of it. But, uh, <laughs> and, uh, I will see y'all again before Christmas, so Merry Christmas anyway. See y'all next time.